Hey everyone, this is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to install the G Cloud command line tool on your Mac. There are plenty of reasons why you'd wanna do this, but in this tutorial, we're gonna be installing the G Cloud command so we can use it to connect to our virtual machine here, which I set up in another video. So um, check out that video if you wanna learn how to create a free website on the Google Cloud platform using Compute Engine. Otherwise, let's go ahead and proceed with the tutorial here. Okay, so first let's go ahead and get the G Cloud command on our local machine. And there is uh, documentation for how to do this, but I'm gonna walk you through in video form. So basically you have to get one of these packages, download it onto your computer. You can click on it and download it. What I'm gonna do is just open up a terminal window and use wget to download that file. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and paste that in here, wget that URL, I'll go ahead and hit enter. That's just gonna download it right here into the directory that we're working out of. And then we can extract that archive file, which is a tar.gz file um, using tar-xzvf and that's gonna just expand it into our current working directory. And after that's finished, we can relatively, from this point of relative uh, command, dot slash Google Cloud SDK, and then install dot sh, and that's gonna walk us through the install process. So uh, do you wanna help Google improve the Google Cloud SDK? You can hit yes or no, I'll do why. Um, this is going to modify our path variable and enable shell command completion. So that's a really good thing. Uh, let's go ahead and hit Y. That way we don't have to always do the relative command. Enter a path to an RC file to update or leave blank to use. This is okay. So this is like your bash. This is a new version of bash, Z-S-H-R-C. Okay, so that's fine. And now we are good to go. Um, I think just, um, it doesn't say it explicitly here, but I'm gonna just reload my zshrc file. And I typed it wrong, zshrc. I typed it wrong again, zshrc. Okay, there we go. So now we should be able to at least um, do something like this, gcloud tab, tab complete. There we go, we see that command. And uh, it you know gives us an error because we didn't pass in an argument, but that's okay. Um, it is now on our path and installed. So let's go back to the Google Cloud Platform, uh, specifically this virtual machine instance, and let's go ahead and try to log in via the G Cloud command. So let's view the command that we need to execute, and this is uh, this whole string here. So let's copy that and open up our terminal window again and paste that down here. And uh, it's basically G Cloud Beta Compute SSH, um, the zone is US Central, so we're specifying the zone and the name of the instance, WordPress test, that's what I defined up here. And then um, dash dash project, I'm not sure what gold fiber is, but let's go ahead and execute this, see if we can log in. And it's thinking right now, trying to figure out what to do next. Let's see what happens. Might have to speed this up if it takes much longer than this. It's like a big wait in game. All right, so we got an error, could not fetch resource permission. Interesting. Um, let's make sure we copy that correctly. So let's uh, do a control, nope, control A. We have line wrapping on, so there's nothing over here. So let's copy that again and open up our terminal window, paste it in, hit enter. And it is taking its good old time again. Um, hopefully it'll work this time. Otherwise, uh, this is a terrible demonstration, but at least I was able to install the G Cloud command. <laughs> um, yeah, let's see what happens. Okay, again, permission required compute instance get permission. So maybe there's something else that we have to do in order to be able to use the G Cloud command. I, I think there is, um, actually, uh, there is something we have to do. We have to do the G Cloud auth login. So this is basically, I, for, I completely forgot about this. You have to log in to your G Cloud um, 
sorry, you have to log into your Gmail or whatever account you use to sign up for Google Cloud Platform, you have to log into that first. So that's why we were seeing that error message. So um, I signed up with Tony Teachers Tech at gmail.com. So this opened when I executed the auth login command. We're going to allow access to that. And um, we it says you are now authenticated with a Google Cloud SDK. So let's open that terminal window back up. And I am pretty confident now that this command should work. So let's try it third time. Third time's a charm. Looks like it's working. Updating project SSH metadata. That's a lot farther than we got before. Uh, looking good. Let's just watch it as it as it uh, does its thing here and see what happens. Okay. It's waiting for the SSH key to propagate. And we are logged in. This is, this is our remote server, Ubuntu 20.04. Um, this is where I have my WordPress website installed at var www wordpress. So there that is. I got the etc nginx um, sites available configuration file here, tonyflurida.me.conf. And yeah, very cool. So um, I guess takeaway here is to remember to do the gcloud auth login as soon as you get done installing the command. So that way you can authenticate with uh, the Google Cloud platform SDK or whatever they want to call it. Um, yeah, that's what they call it, the SDK. So a um, little rough, but we got there. So if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. I'll do my best to help you out. I got some other Google Cloud platform videos over here for you to check out. Uh, check them out. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video.